Betes. Joining me as always is Asher. Yo. And as lately is MPX. Hello. And so we are continuing from where we left off. Yes, it was two weeks ago. You did not miss an episode. Uh, we did, uh, if you missed the memo, we took last week off for the um, pre-release of Endwalker. Yep. Which is the Final and Fantasy XIV expansion that just came out, which is super good. Yep. And we and are heading I've back been... into the mountain to try and now get some progress now that we're a little bit beefier than we were. A little bit chunkier. Yep, just a little bit chunkier. Alright, sorry. And you were starting to say you've been. Uh... I, I, I've been bugged by several people about Endwalker, ranging from, why aren't you finished with MSQ yet? Oof. It only took me three days. Like, well, also, you work for a company that you work graveyard shift, and that's pure ticket work, and you barely take any calls, to, hey, would now be a good time to get into 14? Which, technically, yes? Technically, yes, but also kind of no, I'm afraid. I yeah, think it about like bad two first weeks experience. And, yeah. Dealing with the Q boss is not a good first experience. Agreed. Wait. I saw something light up over here. I thought I saw something light up over here. Huh. Mm. Anyways, but yeah, so. I heartily recommend 14, but wait till the queue calms down some. Because right now it's like two to three hours to log in. That is not an exciting experience. Oh, God, no. And depending on where you live, the queue, uh, the queue does change on how many people are there. Because uh, where most of us are generally are... Uh, the times to log in where the queue is the least is roughly, I'd say, 2 a.m., maybe 3 a.m. to about 8 a.m. Arizona time. That sounds about right. Because I logged in at about 7 this morning and the queue was like 20, uh, like 56. Yeah, I logged in... What time was it? About 6 a.m. and it was pretty much non-existent. I logged in. Again. Oh, come on! Don't do. That. Come on! Don't, don't do, do this, this to me, keep. Don't do this to me, controller. Don't do this. Uh, we are having technical difficulties. Okay, we're gonna have to restart this. I'm afraid. Oh, come on. Uh, yeah, I'm noticing some strange stuff with the bit rate as well, because it's saying it's unstable. But when looking at it, it's like it's saying the bit rate is actually better than what normally we try and go for. I'm not seeing any drop frames, so I don't. It wasn't that that I was worrying about, but uh, my controller just immediately stopped responding partway yeah. through the fight. That, for me, is the bigger uh, issue, I'm afraid. Yeah, well, in I'm looking at why it's saying it's bad. It's like, average stream bit rate is too high. That seems stupid. I'm sorry, too high? Too high. Because zoom tight. Yeah. I mean... Ugh. We got a oh, guy good. I'm now, in, I'm now in triple digits. And it's been roughly ugh, a while, a bit of time. Yes, yeah, so I'm kind of sitting in Q in fourteen, and yeah. <laughs> All right, so here's our first ruby dragon. This was what was making our lives a living hell uh, last stream. Yep, this was the the wall. Yep, this is the wall that I was beating my head against and getting nowhere. So we've got some good spells. People have learned to... And now... We... Oh, and Vivi is now absorbing wind. 
Noise. Vivi is not going to die. Vivi will live forever. Uh. All right, that's one down. Yay. Oh, this is going a lot better than it was last time. Levels and abilities that will... And you're doing decent damage, because I think last time, whenever uh, Zidane would attack, it was like averaging about like 800 a hit instead of 1k. Yeah. And... Okay, I can't really judge Steiner because, well, he's using a magic sword. Yeah, I'm using ability. sword magic with him. And also, whenever we... There we go, the... and we're through that fight. Yay. I also noticed that uh, people were taking a lot less damage. Mm-hmm, a lot less. Uh, Steiner learned a new ability. Everybody got a bunch of XP. Dagger actually leveled twice off that fight. That's always nice to see that happen. Okay, so what else can I have him learn now? Hmm. I mean, you're already learning that elsewhere. Eh, I'll let you go ahead and just finish that. Oh, wait, no, you're learning that elsewhere, too. <laughs> now I've got the opposite problem where they, do, where, uh, they don't really need as much stuff. Because you've also got, uh, you had them learn the abilities that they kind of need. And yeah, we'll go with that for now. Uh, also, I think they're not going to be releasing the Pixel Remaster of 6 until possibly next year. Oof, but, I mean, it is what it is, I guess. Well, I mean, next yeah, there year was is that... in a couple of weeks. Well, I mean, how far into next year? I think some people said, like, late January. Oh, oh, okay, that. that's, yeah, no, that's within the next two months, that's nothing. Because it... It looks to be like, on averaging, they're taking about an extra three months between releases to finish stuff out. But there was some weird rumor going like, are they just going to release five in November and then just dump six in December? And I'm like, I don't think so, because they're trying to at least make sure there's spaces between games so that you can at least lay it to a certain uh, to completion at least yeah which makes sense because they want you to play it to completion yeah and I know some people are like but these are like 40 to 60 hour RPGs yeah it, and not necessarily in certain circumstances um considering that like I've been seeing some people say that the for pixel remaster you can actually beat in about 20 hours without skipping cutscene uh, without like skipping dialogue okay because somebody actually did the math and compared uh how fast you actually level mm -hmm. and you actually level like almost two to three times faster uh in the pixel remaster so, I think that might have been an executive decision because I remember four being uh, sometimes being a bit grindy, teeny bit grindy. Fair enough. 
Um, like uh, the original four or its various releases over the years? Uh, the US SNES 4. Okay. Because the Japanese one was even harder. Admittedly, there are mods out there that allow you to go back to the Japanese hard level. Uh, level of hardness. Which... That's a thing. Uh, trying to remember, if I remember right... What, these fish boys are weak against? Well, no, the problem is, is that this one... I uh, use Scorch, which makes him immune to all elemental damage. Uh, so I have to use find... non-elemental damage. And the only one you really have is Flare and maybe Damien? Uh Also oh, Meteor Comet. and Comet. Okay. But that worked. Followed by an attack from Zidane. It all worked out. Yay. Hey, Steiner learned two more things, and we got a couple more levels. Nice. And Steiner is, thanks to our efforts on the previous stream, already on his best sword. Yep. So, really can't swap it out for anything until we can well he still has one point. more point to go until he uh masters that but also his cross helm which he just mastered everything on uh he's also uh, uh there doesn't have any other helm options yeah and yeah <laughs> he's he's actually kind of up against a wall and i'm kind of okay with it but also not okay with it but mostly okay with it yeah, you kind of, it's like, I kind of want to move him on to something, but there's nothing really to move him on to. Yeah, and that's that's a decent place to be. It's not my favorite place to be, but it is a decent place to be. Oh, you have a mock shop here. Is there anything that you sell that I need? Uh, not really at the moment. That's okay. Uh, oh, I will, however, check Mognet. Oh, you need a letter. Nice. Alright, Demucion used the item on himself, Koopo. I wanted to go to Magnet Central and complain, but where the heck is it located, Koopo? I never even thought about it until now, Koopo. Come to think of it, I really don't know much about Magnet Central. I know where it is. <laughs> so many Moogles don't know, and I already know. Yep. Because we've already been there once. That's where we drop off the Koopo Nuts, isn't it? No, that's uh, Gazamaluk's Grotto. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna come up here. Oh, that's the other thing I'm reminded about. For... Oh, here's another ruby. Oh. Oh, this one's a wet. No, I'm joking. <laughs> Wouldn't that be fun? Just suddenly ruby weapon bursts through the wall? Uh, that would be a little bit weird and... Oh, this uh -oh. one's a solo. This is going to be easy money. Ah. Cast water. Back, uh, back, dagger, back. sit back for a moment. Steiner, Blizzaga sword, please. And then smack it. Zidane, smack him. Ah, you uh. missed. And we'll do one more water, and that should be more than enough. Enough to basically just tell it straight up like Oh, didn't even get to that water. Nice. Save on resources. And Steiner learned magic break and high tide. And uh -huh. Dagger and Steiner both leveled again. Again. And I'm getting in ethers. Oh yeah. Always good. Don't leave home without them, kids. And I got an elixir from that chest. Nice. And I want to say there was... Nope. There was not, in fact, a reason to go up there. Okay. And that was the whole point of this room. Was that Moogle and then the elixir... 
And then getting assaulted by a dragon. Well, of course. I mean, that goes without saying in Plague Company. Wait, that's the uh, same place. Okay, screw it then. I'm done here. Okay, so now I come over here. Two, I, part number one. Pull down. Sorry. Oh, not up. Dang it, I messed up. Pull down once. Pull down twice. Pull down three times. I don't think I found the note telling me the third time, but I just happen to know that. Oh. Just one of those things, and Eddie's is spamming emotes. Yeah, I'm not seeing the emotes pop up, but I'm seeing the spam. Oh. And here's more Ruby. Uh, I think he likes Pikachu as number one. Pikachu Hearts number one. Oh, goody! That's a good number. Another Current die. Current Q. 420. <laughs> Blaze through that Q. <laughs> you know it. Uh, my emotes don't pop up. Uh, they don't for me, but that's a me thing. I know exactly why, and that is 100% an issue on my end. Ready for some curatives. Not that we're taking a ton of damage, but better to be safe than to be sorry. All right, one down. Getting a good bit of damage taken, but yeah. end of the day, it'll all balance out. And unfortunately, Steiner is a hundred percent of out of MP right now. So, ten time? Uh, well, so you may not remember. Oh, Vivi just learned Reflect Double Ooh. Oh, and I got an Abomination card. I didn't okay. even know they put a card of me in the game. Oh, there it is. Yeah, no, that's pretty accurate. Um, BB Reflect Doubler was off of... Black Robe, I'm still learning Flare, so that's okay. Uh, but no, the other issue is um, that tents aren't 100% in this game. Hmm. Yeah, no, that's... They've done that before. Zidane, it's Aiko! Kujin, the Black Mages are there too! Aiko, that must be the extraction spell. Eidolon of eternal life, Eidolon of infinite powers, arise from thy eternal slumber, depart of thy endless way. Let there be life, let there be life. What are the dumb butts trying to summon? The time has come, the time is now. Uh, they're not trying to summon, they're trying to uh, extract her Eidolons out. Like how they did to Dagger. Ugh. Wait, Dagger? I know. We all know how you feel. Come on, let's do it. Mm, that was odd. Odd that was. We failed again. Again we have failed. Did you make some mistake? 
Make mistake? I did not. Yours the mistake must be. I made no mistake at all. The truth do you speak? Of course I speak the truth. Will you two just shut up? It's his fault. His fault it is. The one who messed up is you. You're the one who messed up. I said shut up. I don't want to hear excuses. I sense power from within her. Continue the extraction. Continuing further will endanger the subject's life. Only at the age of 16 can idolins be extracted. You two just don't get it. I need an idolin more powerful than Alexander. An idolin with the power to bury Garland. His powers are so incredible. I cannot even come close. Garland, you say? I must destroy him before Terra's plan is activated, or my soul will no longer be my own. Who cares if she lives? I want that Idolin. Kabal! Where did that come from? You, get out of our way! Messer! Koopa! Well? Her pet Moogle is interfering with the extraction process. Certain are we that it caused the failure. Kill the runt. We are running out of a time. Koopa! Mog! No, Mog! Hide behind me! Mog, what is it? Aiko, thank you for everything. Mog, what are you saying? And why does your voice sound not not at all like a Moogle's? Don't it's worry, time. Koopo. I will always be with you, Koopo. Good King Muggle Mog? Sort of. Mog! This way? Mog! We will put you to death. Put you to death, we will. All right, it's battle time. Iko, use Terra homing. <laughs> oh no. Terra homing. Her ultimate summon. Chunks of Earth, I see. What the f is that? That is everything. That looks like a Moogle combined with Bahamut. <laughs> I wanted to be by your side, Aiko, so I became Mog. Don't worry, I'll always watch over you, Koopo. <sighs> Aiko, are you okay? I am all right. Mog saved me. I never knew that Mog was an Idolin. She after always looked after me, disguised as a Moogle. Also, apparently, uh, Medina is supposed to be a female, but I gave I gave Medina the most Chad voice I could come up with. The most deep, gravelly voice possible. Even though, yes. even though she was weak. She fought her best to protect me. So, that's what happened. Mog's ribbon. Mog. It's alright, Aiko. Mog will always watch over you. You're right. How can that, that Moogle went into a trance? Kuja. So, an eruption of anger against one's surroundings induces a complete trance. 
It's not the will to live, nor is it the desire to protect another. Man, you're really going off. Hello? And that means I simply need a powerful soul, even if that soul is not my own. No. Wait. And it can be found there! <laughs> Kuja, what are you plotting? I am done with you. Wait a minute. Vivi, look out. Don't worry. I hear these twins put on quite a good show. Of course, they're not really twins at all. Wait, what about the black mages? No, Vivi, it's too dangerous. Ugh. Zidane, something's wrong. I thought we defeated them. And now it's time for the real form of Zorn and Thorn. Melt a Gemini. The thorn? The M Thorn? Nope, Melt a Gemini. Oh, goody. Ew. Yeah, I know, right? Once again, we have creepy, weird thing coming from something mundane. I don't know if mundane's really the word I would use. Well, people accept them as jesters, which is kind of mundane. True. Uh, everyone except for maybe Ico should be protected against this. It looks like everyone was protected. Also, Ico is in some serious fucking danger. She's really low on health, isn't she? Well, she doesn't have a ton of health to start with. Oof. Okay. Things are trying to load in. Oh, wait. No, that's bad. That wait, is the bad? opposite of what I wanted her to do. Uh, uh oh. Root row. Okay, I. It would be nice if I could actually see what I'm trying to do, game. I think that's right. I think that's right now. Okay. Okay, that should be the last thing, because that was three. Oh yeah, we're tearing through him like he's made of paper. Especially when Zidane is hitting every single round for like around 7k. Oof. Yeah, that is... Chewing through health. And you've stolen everything from him? Yep, already got him with three. 
Nice. You only ever have three items, and I already got all three of them. Sounds like it's finally getting better to ste uh, steal. And that's GG. Okay, that sucks. I thought that they all resisted that. Shit. Ugh. Vivi, where's Kuja? Did he get away? Vivi? Everyone knew he was lying, but they still followed him. He said that our lifespans can't be extended, and that we were fools for believing him. What? Kuja said that? I I'm so sorry. For all I've done. You guys don't have to apologize. Where are the others? They were so shocked to hear it. They're all sitting down over there. Sit on. What am I supposed to tell them? Vivi. Hey, Vivi, where are you going? Uh, all I can do is just sit with them. That bastard. When I get my hands on him. Pardon me, but is someone there? Who might you be? Where has that Kuja gone? Oh, him. He split, lady. What? You chased him away? I know not who you are, but you have my sincere gratitude. Could this be Princess Garnet? Why, it is! It is you! Oh, how long it has been! I haven't seen your highness for ages. Why, look how you've grown. So, whatever brought you to this dreadful place? Who is this lady? What's a friend of yours doing here anyway? Oh, my darling. Hilda, I finally found you. I do not remember ever marrying a toad. It's me. Sid. Of course, that mustache. It really is you. Hilda, come back to the castle and return me to my former self. Dreadfully sorry, my sugar cup, but I surrendered your favorite airship to a man named Kuja. Forget about it, Rock. As long as you're alright, you're all. Oh, my sweet froggy woggy. <laughs> so, oh, he's not uh, being changed. <laughs> right? So, uh, you know Kuja? I'm gonna make him pay. Please tell me all about him. Very well, my dear. I shall tell you everything once we reach Nimblum. Good you didn't touch you, did he? His soul was filled with hate, but he was polite to me. He just talked an awful lot. What about... Well, he divulged his master plan to me. I didn't even have to ask. It was tiresome. But what he spoke of, it was truly a scene from a nightmare. What did he say? That he was not of this world. He said his aim was to use this world to acquire an even more destructive power. The taking of Hildegard I was a part of this process. We must tell Zidane about this. You have valuable information. Which led me to believe that my abduction wasn't a part of his plan. He was a hopeless narcissist, but... But at least he wasn't a skirt chaser, like you. Ugh. You just hit me where it hurts most. 
I'm so sorry about that. That's why I've risked my life to rescue you. Oh, really? Are you sure you weren't there to take back Kildegard 1? I'm not lying. I apologize. So please turn me back. I'm sick of being an Oglog or a frog. I'll never cheat on you again. I promise. Can your words be trusted? I don't lie. I swear on my father's name. All right. I'll turn you back. But it's going to be much worse if you ever cheat on me again. I understand. No, turn me back. Maybe I'll turn you into a hedgehog pie. Ugh. Please, no. No, turn me back. All right, all right. Finally, Ribbit, I'm human again. Quack! Now I can concentrate on building Hildegard 3. Uh, he's uh, gonna have to deal with it. that. Uh... I must stop that. Dear, I'm sorry about everything, Hilda. Yay! Regent Sid is a human again. Yet he still has a bad vocal tick. It's even worse now. Why are you calling me Mr. Zidon? Sorry, it was Dreamlines. I wasn't sure whose voice to use. Mr. Zidon, oh, please get up. Oh, it was just a dream. What's up? Lady Hilda is calling a meeting. Please go to the conference room. Okay. I just wish I could have dreamt a bit longer. Huh? Oh, it's nothing. Don't worry about it. Favor to ask. Letter to Kumul. Okay. And we're going to go ahead and put a new save. So the thing I said earlier about how I screwed up and I should have uh, realized that, or that I, it screwed up and therefore I screwed up, was um, so he did use an ability called Virus on me, which I got vaccine yeah. specifically for that, but I thought I had an ability that blocked Virus. What Virus does is it prohibits XP and AP. Oh, it's kind of like forgetful from... Exactly. So I got yeah. zero growth as a result. Oh wait, no, that's the banquet hall. Appears the or no, that's his throne. This is the conference hall. We just did the banquet in there too. I promise, I have some clue of what I'm doing. You know what you're doing. I'm taking off every zig. What? <laughs> Who's that guy? Mm, it's Regent Sid. What? Still haven't got any ma hasn't got any manners. Rip. <clears throat> Still haven't learned your manners. <laughs> you can stop the frog talk now. Silence, ribbit. Oh well. Ugh, I didn't gather you all to talk about that. I called for this meeting to tell you all about what I learned while in Kuja's captivity. It may provide a hint about where he may be. Listen carefully. I don't see the princess. I shall look for her. I will begin constructing Hildegard III. The blue Narcissus will be used for its construction. Now, Hilda will tell you the rest. Hilda? So, what did Kuja discuss with you? 
Some parts of the story may be hard to believe, but please hear me out. Kuja plans to use this world as a means of acquiring an even greater power. Greater power? What would he do with it? I don't know. He indicated that he wasn't of this world. What? We call our world Gaia, but he called his birthplace Terra. Terra, huh? Oh. Meanwhile, ah, <laughs> the repair's coming. They're going really slow. We can't rush them, or everything will probably fall apart again. We're not getting anywhere. I've been up here forever. I want to switch places with someone. I guess the damage is a lot worse than we expected. Huh? She's not here either. Where could she be? Yo! Hmm? Oh, it's only you. Why are you all gathered here? Are you scheming another abduction or something? Hey, watch your mouth. We were just discussing ways to restore this district. Yeah. Well, Timer, you got us all wrong. Yeah. We're just trying to rebuild our home, that's all. What are you doing here? From the looks on your face, it seems like you got problems. What's troubling you? Maybe we can help. Uh, can I really trust you? Yeah. The princess is missing. She's not in the castle, so I figured she would be in town. Why don't you go back to the castle before you get lost? What? We'll find her. This is like our backyard. All right, you heard me. Get moving. You have my gratitude. Hey, no problem. This Terra seems to be connected with a place called the Shimmering Island. I don't know where Kuja went, but maybe we can find him if we go there. Unfortunately, you can't get directly to Terra from the Shimmering Island. Of course you can't. Everyone would have discovered this other world by now if it were that easy. So what do we do? I'll tell you. The gateway that connects the two worlds is sealed, but Kuja said there is a place where the seal can be broken. Where's that? He said it's an old castle located in the northern area of the Forgotten ca Continent. An explorer left his re a record of his trip to this particular castle on the Forgotten Continent. If I recall co or remember correctly, he wrote that the cliffs were too steep to explore. Other than that, very little is known about the Forgotten Continent. Well, since this castle doesn't have a name, let's call it Ibsen's Castle. Ibsen's Castle, huh? Yeah, we don't know anything about the world beyond our continent. There's a ship coming along. Regent, you're human again. Yes. Now we can continue on building the ship. Concentrate on building the ship. Judging by our experience with Hilda 2, we're almost finished with the engine. We're having problems with the construction of the hull, though. Yes. I'm thinking about using parts of the blue Narciss for the body. Now come. I realized that the blue Narciss was a well-built ship. Well-built ship when I rode on it. There are other reasons, but we must hurry. I already have a completed blueprint in my head. Do as I tell you and it will be completed in no time. Let's get ready. Roger. That's all I heard. You may find a clue if you go to Ibsen's castle. Did you ask Kuja about all of this? These were all things he discussed voluntarily. He became very impassioned as he spoke, and he volunteered information without even my asking. 
He probably thought telling me his plans wouldn't affect his grand scheme. He's right. His power is great and we're at a disadvantage. But I can't forgive Kuja. He toyed with my friends' lives. Now we know where we need to go. The problem is getting there. I guess we'll have to wait until Sid finishes building Hildegard III. Zidon, I bring troubling news. What? What now? I cannot find the princess. I've looked all over Limblum. The members of Tantalus aided me in my search, but... She's not in Limblum? Then there's only one place. Do you know where she is? I think so. You guys wait here in Limblum. I'll be right back. Ah, where are you guys going? We're gonna look for Dagger. Is there anyone else we need to look for? No, but we looked over there already. Go someplace where we haven't already looked. Uh, sin is so demanding. True, true. Hey, Ruby. Blank, Marcus, how y'all doing? We're doing all right. No show business, Ruby. Well, the money ain't no good, but I'm having fun. I like it. That's great. Ohio and Limblum got completely destroyed. It's going to take a miracle to fix the place. Bro, we better. Oh, sorry. We came to Alexandria for a reason. Have you seen Dagger? Dagger? No, I had seen her. What about her? You fixing to kidnap her again? No, we're just looking for her this time. I was only kidding, Marcus. I'll ask the patrons to be on the lookout. Thanks, Ruby. I wonder if Zidane's here with these good old boys. This is strange. I was sure that she'd be back in Alexandria. Where else can I look? Hey, Zidane, I've been looking for you. Boss, have you found Dagger? Nah, can't find her anywhere. I didn't find Dagger, but... I think I saw that chick. That chick? Yeah, you know, that chick. I'm gonna check again. Hey, wait, who is she? What are you talking about? Where are you going, boss? Is she here? She was standing over there just a second ago. Over there? Is that who I think it is? Hey! Ah, over there! Where did she go? Still alive, huh? <laughs> you are Baku. Yep, I'm the man who abducted your princess. Let us forget about that. It happened a long time ago. You got a big heart, like that knucklehead Steiner. No wonder the women have run out of the show here. <laughs> Boss, you must have seen Beatrix. Hey! As you can see, Alexandria was completely destroyed. Steiner and I did our best to protect Alexandria. But our efforts were in vain. Steiner was worried about you. Why haven't you contacted him? Dagger's still in shock. She's been mute ever since the attack. She is? Then it is better for her not to return to the city for a while. It won't do her any good to see Alexandria like this. Well, here's the thing. We can't find her. I thought she'd be back here, but I can't find her anywhere. She is back in Alexandria, but she's nowhere to be found. 
Have you looked in the resting place? Resting place? Yes, if she is back in Alexandria, I'm certain that she'll be there. There are a couple of favors I would like to ask you. If you see Princess Garnett, please tell her not to worry about Alexandria. She must take care of herself first. Sure, what else? I'd like you to give something to her. A Garnet! Maybe it will help the princess get through this time of uncertainty. By giving her the ability to summon the Eidolon that killed her mother. Yes, that is a great plan. Thank you, Beatrix. Uh, I've been looking for you, Dagger. Sidon! You can talk again? I... I've been thinking since the disaster. I've been thinking that I have to become a queen and bring peace to Alexandria. That's why I came back here, but... Can I stay with you guys for a while longer? Can I ask why? When my mother was still alive, my primary concern was how to talk and look like a princess. Those were the only things on my mind. That didn't change when my mother died and when I was about to become a queen. I only thought about how to look and act like a queen. I don't think the people will accept me as their queen the way I am right now. I don't know about that. I have no right to rule over this country. Hmm. Oh, I almost forgot. Beatrix wanted me to give this to you. Is this a garnet? That's right. Isn't it pretty? It's beautiful. I also love that that toss that he did. Like, what would have happened if she had if she hadn't caught it, and like the garnet just shattered her on the ground? That would just. Uh, <laughs> That gem used to be just another ordinary stone. The stone made a wish. I want to shine. The stone traveled from person to person, in keeping with its wish. And now, it's shining in your hand, Dagger. If you're willing to make an effort, you'll shine too someday. The day will come when Alexandria needs you. There's no rush. The important thing is to have the desire. Thanks. I have to apologize for using you guys as an excuse to run away from my responsibilities. Hey, what's important is you honestly want to stay with us. Zidon? Can I borrow that knife again? Which one? The one that helped me make my last big decision. I'm borrowing this. And runs away with a knife. <laughs> Sit on. Remember me the way I was. For me. Blech. And the symbolic cutting of the hair. Ah, yes. The animator of hope. Is it that way? I think it's wrong. Uh, maybe? I feel like it's just a generic trope. A universal trope? Yeah. Uh, I didn't get any lines. I am pissed. Well, that's your fault for playing while we're playing this. I mean, what? But this should get me enough EXP to... Oh, and there's the Hildegard 3. We now, have, we now have a airship that can fly without mist. Which is very convenient because there is very little of it to go around. Anymore. Yeah. 
because we kind of fucked that up for everyone. The world. Admittedly, Mist was not a good resource anyway. True. But what happened? What happened to your hair? P Princess, what have you done? I know. Sedan broke your heart, didn't he? How dare he? I is that true? Whoa, hold on. Don't jump to conclusions. Dagger's right, Iko. Or Zidane's right, Iko. Dagger, you can talk again? Yes, I'm sorry I made you all worry. It's okay, but your hair. It was so beautiful. Short hair doesn't suit me. Oh no, you look great. Thanks, Iko. It's still too early to celebrate. Aaron, you know our destination. Yep, Ibsen's castle on the Forgotten Continent. That's right. Bacon jam. We'll go there to find out how to enter Terra through the Shimmering Island. I'm sure we'll find out more once, about what's going on once we reach Terra. Yeah. And hopefully we'll learn about what Kuja wants to achieve. The location of Ibsen's castle has been marked on the map based on Lady Hilda's information. Please check by pressing uh, whatever the hell button that's supposed to be. Uh, select after we depart. You can also press B on the bright spots on the map, take you to those automatically. Oh yeah, there's auto navigation now. And check how to maneuver by pressing X while the large map's open. Excuse me. Please let me know if you want to switch out party members. I shall assist you in any way that I can during your journey. Uh, you don't have to be so formal. Let's just relax and enjoy our flight. And yes, I definitely want to switch out party members. We now have a real, true, honest-to-goodness airship. A proper airship now. Yep. Which means now we have the ability to uh, start training our Chocobo to, uh, to to give him the ability of flight too. Alright. Checking out the new journal. Oh, that was last week's journal? Yep. Oh, goodness. Um... What? So I think we're gonna make we're actually gonna mix it up a little bit tonight. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and do some uh, some chocobo hot and cold tonight, so we can get our chocobo the ability to fly, so we can show off chocobo's island, and then we'll continue story from there if we still have time after that. I got one of those one to sixty journals again. Yeah, I think you're gonna. I think I think we're gonna have to hit ninety to get a proper journal again, which is I silly. Mean, like, but I'm, I'm not complaining too much about it. But it's like, oh, oh. it's gonna be super easy. Yeah, I can worry about that later. It's only one. It's not enough to care about right now. Okay, and almost cap on pose. So time to. Time to spend. Okay, so yeah, he I didn't get the message this time, so there are new uh there are new chocographs here.
Imagine trying to do something like this in 14. Oh god. Riding your chocobo around and pecking at the ground randomly. For treasure. Technically, that's how you do get treasure wraps. Uh, I mean, it's a little bit more complicated than that. But yeah, yes. I, mean, I guess that's not that far off. Plus in 14 is it gives you the common... Well, actually, the treasure maps in 14 are more like the chocographs themselves than this part. Yay. Because you get that nice little window that tells you, oh, it's probably here-ish. So... I have actually replaced most of my gun uh, gun breaker. I was about to say gun burger. Oh, I mean, you usually do. You're yeah. already on stream and saying it uh, on a different night, so might as well keep the yeah. same energy. Yeah. The only two pieces that I need to update now are the helmet and the feetsies. And the pants. But I like the pants, so. So, three pieces. I mean, you can always keep the glamour, upgrade the gear, but keep the glamour. Uh, put in your ch uh, dresser for later. Yeah, put it in the uh, put it in the uh, glamour dresser. Yeah. Because the pants are part of the Yorha set of all things. Oh, of course, and that's and, why you like them. Yeah, because they actually look like a pair of jeans. I still say my jeans look better. My peace lover jeans with the the ones that are all ripped and faded. Versus mine, which look like a pair of pristine jeans, if black in color. I mean, uh, pristine jeans. Who cares about that so much? I mean, it's better than acid wash jeans. That looks. Ugh. Yeah, which is what happens to if you take the Tantalus pants. Uh, Zidane's pants and try and dye them some colors. They come out acid wash looking. Okay. Oh, come on. Go. But, now that it... Uh, you know what? I'm gonna go grab some nuts. And by that, I mean... Nope, hunt. too late. It's already freezing time. Nuts board. Ah, but which nuts board? Because there's two of them. Well, since I just upgraded, uh... Oh, true. So, the Crystarium one. Yep. Let's see. It's Papa Lotl. Oh, it's Papa Lotl. It's a Papa Lotl. I like Eats Papa Lodl. You have that as a, as your weekly B rank? As my weekly elite mar uh, elite quotations elite, but uh, he yeah, usually the B -rank. hangs out uh, close, uh, really close to um, the gate when you first uh, zone out into Lakeland from the Crystarium. Okay. He's usually like super close north or super close south of that gate. At least that's been my experience. Because I might as well get some newts. Well, yeah, of course. Uh. Especially since uh, before too long, like in a few months, uh, having them is going to mean uh, being able to upgrade your gear on the cheap. Yeah. If no, you mean not best in slot, at least, you know, good. Oh, it doesn't offer that at first? Nope. Uh, yeah, no, right now there wouldn't be an option for it, uh, for, uh, because there isn't a, a quote-unquote outgrown gear set. The 460 ah. set that you can get, um, 
used to be one of the I used to be one of the tome sets, like the grown up tome, yeah. not the pose. The equivalent of Revelation, but it's yeah. But it got phased out. Okay. I think it was about the same time as the currency got it for it got phased out is when it got made into nut gear. Yeah. I would think the real advantage is, is being able to get some of the things that are very expensive but because you now have two sources of the same currency. Well... I mean, you're not wrong. Uh, and you're like wrong. when, and like uh, in the new area, there's a couple new glamour things that you can get with those nuts. Or there's like a pet in the new glamour thing that you can get with those nuts. And it's like, I think the pet is like five hundred. Eight hundred. Eight hundred. Oh yeah. Eight hundred for the pet and eight hundred for the wings. And I definitely have both. <laughs> Because I am that person. You get the demon wings. Yeah, that's why you get the demon wings. Oh, I didn't. I feel like a dumb butt because somehow I missed getting the elite mark bill. Oof. Wait, did you already kill its Papalotl? No. Okay. I I haven't found him yet because I was like, why am I not seeing the? You've detected where your mark is. Like. And I go check my inventory, and it's like. I don't see the, the, the golden wanted poster in there. Did I did I not pick it up? And then turns out indeed you did not. Really? But yeah, if I do the, oh. these ones, I can get Gunbreaker up to 83. Nice. Cause it's at which point at, you like... can pick back up MSQ. Well, actually, like I, I turned in the uh, journal for Black Mage. Because mm -hmm. it was behind Gunbreaker. Gunburger. Because uh, Gunbreaker has this like little tiny pip of blue. Weekly. So there we go. And now do it the proper way. Go to the Aether shard, Ethernet shard and warp out that way instead of being a dumb butt. That and too. walk to the front door. Oof, yeah, that too. Note how I said the term walk, not run. Walk to the front door. I presume you mean without the use of sprint, not literally slightly tilting your your stick, or slightly moving yeah, forward. Yeah, that's what I mean. Is like me mo uh, putting the stick all the way forward, but without the use of the sprint ability. Yeah. I d also there's one thing I found about the um our, our good buddy uh. Oh God, cruise chaser that I hate about the mount. Flying with him is annoying because in order to get it to fly straight, you're basically looking straight into his exhaust. Oof. And so it's like, well, that's not good. Maybe with a sufficient zoom out? Even with the zoom out to get the thing level without go it going up or down slightly. Oh. I mean, meh. I'm one of those um, weird people might be a problem if there was any sort of aerial combat but there isn't thankfully because i do i do not do well in three-dimensional battlefields i know from experience back when okay. it was still young and fresh i played ion and that game is a freaking nightmare for my brain on multiple levels not just because it has pvpve as a mandatory uh 
I remember attempting to try and play Pioneer and Wing Commander as a youngin and doing god awful. Well, half of that is trying to read the radar. And they keep yeah. on changing it up on you on exactly how it functions sometimes. So. Yeah. I've read somewhere that trying to do a three-dimensional radar is fucking hard. Southwest. Ah, there he is! The blue boy! Let me smack you several times. Okay, I'm thinking there might be something wrong. I might have to go to the other place first. So we're going to do that. Because it's not like I have one that I couldn't activate. I've got one that I can't activate, but that's because I haven't learned Sky yet. So maybe the one to learn Sky is actually over here. Maybe that's what I'm doing wrong. There's a hundred nuts. Alright, so let's see. Okay, it's now time to go find the lake snakes. Which are not actually really right on the shore, but are in a little bit. Yeah. They're they're in the mix of woods and waters. Yeah. What I always think of as the coastal forest. Okay, we got a chocograph piece. Not really what I'm here for, but I appreciate. Because at least it's on theme for what I'm trying for. And I am literally... The pip of blue is now gone, and it's just kind of tiniest, tiniest pip. Roughly the width of a strand of hair? Yes. Okay, so... Next thing I need to find... Is... Yateveo, which is... Yateveos are um, literally west of Fort Job. Uh, where that where the rise is, where the um, weird elf palace is. Uh, yeah, that's what I thought it where, where it was. Yeah, so. to the east of that. Basically, it's on the, the plateau. I know, it's just east of the plateau. On the plateau is where you have the weird gators. Okay. So, below the plateau... Towards Fort Job. Bit.
But yeah, I think I'll just stick with trying to level Gunbreaker using Duty Roulettes and then just main story uh, Black Mage until either A, it's overleveled, or I start encountering problems leveling. Fair enough. There's another chocograph piece, so that I think is all six pieces. Oh right. That's that's what I that is exactly what I was missing. Because now that I've got the six pieces, they form into a chocograph. Oh dang, 21 seconds left on the clock that time. That should be a good bonus. 200 points. Not bad. Oh wait, maybe I only got 5. Yeah, I only have five. I still need one more. Okay. Oh, hey, I just did a fate and... And leveled as a result, result of that? Yeah. Nice. Still gonna do the, uh... The newts, because... Well, yeah, of course. They're... It's free real estate. Yep. There we go, there's the sixth piece.
Okay. Do you have all the chocograph pieces? They make up one chocograph now, Koopa. Take a look at where it says on the back. Go treasure hunting, Koopa. Choco said he already dug up all the chocographs here. Koopo, maybe you could go some other locations by using dead pepper. Mist Ocean. This one I think is hard to find. Because my entire hint is I see two islands, and it's somewhere around the Mist Continent. Mm -hmm. But if I can find it, I'm confident that that is the one we're looking for here. Confident that is our uh, gold chocobo. Nice. Uh, uh, that's too busy and... to be there. And I'm swapping out the Steam oh, controller Baron never for give my up. Xbox. Oh no, I'm not going to give up. You misunderstand me. I'm not giving up. Never I said it's up. difficult, not that I'm not going to do it. Yeah, I had to swap back from the Steam controller to my Xbox because... Well, the Steam controller may be designed ergonomically, there, it's just... It's, uh, it still cramps my hands. It's not gonna be there. I just wish this is one I hadn't memorized, is all. Yeah. Because some of them I remember very well. Oh, Baron. Uh, but does it cramp your style? No. It just cramps my hands. Which hurts. It could be here. This would line up. So the question... Oh! This is definitely the right area. Getting close. Okay. I know where those are. There it is. Found a treasure chest. Strange smoke appeared. Getting sleepy. Oh no, our chocobo got high again. Our chocobo got high. Nah, I can't get it to scan uh, to scan or work right. Yeah. Yeah, it's way too many syllables into that spot. Yeah. There we go. Wanderer, we await your return. Chokum, you now have the ability to fly the boundless sky. You can take off and land in any forest. You now have all the abilities necessary to reach your homeland. We are now fully upgraded. And conveniently, we have a... Uh, desert nearby. I think I know which one that is. But first I need to get on land. Because I still have the same rule of I have to enter the water from a beach. Mm -hmm. And then I need to go to a forest. And then I can take off. Land. Forest. Air. There we go. We have a flying chocobo. 
And fuck the airship. I mean, no, don't do that. Is it this one? I don't remember if it's this one. No, it doesn't look like it's this one. This one does matter later, but it's not this one right now. Um, but it is going to be off of this continent. Because if you look at it, it's very much 100% this yeah. continent. It's going to be somewhere on this continent that you couldn't normally get otherwise. Which leaves that forest out. Yeah. Well, and otherwise, otherwise, which means, like, I it has to be completely separated. It's not this one, though. I don't think so. Because I think this one's labeled as, like, heaven or something. If it is, it's up on this actual mountain. But I don't think it is. Yeah, no, it can't be this one. Also, is there a crack on... No, there is not. Okay. Oh, it might be that one over there. Now that I'm paying attention to my map a little clearer. Oh, no, because that has a beach. It can't be anywhere that has a beach. And it's not going to be that one, because that also has a beach. Plus, that's also... So, I mentioned before Magnet Central. That mm -hmm. right there, that cave right there is Magnet Central. Ah... Uh. That's the one I checked earlier. Or is it? Or is it that one I checked earlier? Okay, now I'm second guessing myself. I think it was that one I checked earlier, which means this one I haven't yet. So maybe it was this one. Oh, it is this one. <laughs> I was on the right it I was on the right path uh, track. Where is it? There it is. Sapphires, a circlet, a pumice piece, and a Hildegard three card. So, if I'm not mistaken, I believe... Where are they? I should now have two. Oh, there's my circle that I just got. Oh, no, I have one. Oh, right, the other one you get somewhere else. But when you have the two pumice pieces, there is a legendary synthesis later in the game that we will be finding. Uh, mm -hmm. that you can use to form, uh, forge that back into pumice, which gives you the ultimate, um, the ultimate summon for, the ultimate idolin for Garnet, which is, um, no, yeah, Eden. Oh, goody. And there's Hildegard 3. I know I need to go this way for the monkey boys to smack or lemurs lemurs huh well they're called mandrels but they look like lemurs oh right 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 yeah the ones in rectica rectica yep. greatwood or rectica yeah I say it differently every single time. You'll you'll just have to forgive me. Hopefully. Um. Yeah, I was thinking of different uh, ones, and that would have been very weird because I don't think you know where the different ones are. 
Yeah, no, I know where the floor mandrel ones are. And then I have to defeat the giant huge face birds over in the Runken Ruins. Ah, yes, the face birds. Damn it, it couldn't be on the easy one that I always have memorized. Why would it be? Uh, I just find it funny that four. Ronka was from 5. Okay, right the Great Wood Rail. Now we're going to sit down for a moment. I need to check those um, pieces for this. Uh, Islands and Salvage Archipelago, I already checked that one. Uh, southeast on the uh, Outer Continent to reach Quintus Peninsula. So, Quintus Peninsula. Alexandria Plains. I already checked the center of the ocean. Uh, east of Seaways Canyon on Forgotten Continent. No, Grubhub, I don't want to do that. Kind of expensive too. Yeah, it's like you order from them once, and now they're gonna ask you forever. Oh, well, there it like is. This? How did I just barely uh, ignore uh, miss it? All right, so here's what happens if you're flying and feed it a dead pepper, and we chose this spot specifically because something special happens because of that shadow being there. Also, is that forest a heart? Yeah, probably. Welcome to Chocobo's Air Garden. Choco can fly like me? Wow, that's great, Koopo. Say, did you notice, Koopo? This island is floating on clouds. You don't say. The location of the island might change when you go back down. So check its location on the map by pressing select. Yeah, now that I've been here before, it'll it'll show up on the map for me. Gravity is pretty firm. What strange place, Koopo? You hear the strange one, Mene? All right, so we're gonna do a quick game here. Hopefully, get a cho a cho choking graph. But if we don't, eh, that's what happens. Wait a minute. Soft. Chocograph. Where are the horrible mummy men? The Gilman? Uh. The Gilman, yeah. Uh, they are south of. Uh. Something. Uh, oh, they're south head. of the uh, last inn. Yeah, journey's head. Uh, journey's head. Okay. Yeah. Ah, the Gigantar, a noble species of cac uh, cactuar. Mostly farmed for their cactus piss. I mean, what? Not that water. Not there actually is a like literal cactus. item in game called Cactus Piss. Oh. No, I I think I remember that. I actually don't know if it's actually from them, but it it is a real thing. It is. All right, we got a chocograph. I'll oh, come back and do this place Gilman. more later. This is more just to kind of show off. Yeah, Gilman are a type of zombie. Yeah. They're a zombie. Mummy. I think actually specifically. There we go. 
But yeah, no, I rec uh, like I've seen people stream this area, and I know what's here. Stream are... Amarung? No, uh, where you're at. There's a uh, there's a mount in fourteen that pays homage to this uh, secret boss. Oh, I'm not there yet. And by yet, I mean probably on stream at all. Maybe. We have an interloper. Hello. Hello. Couldn't get on round 14, could you? Huh? No, I, I'm in. Everybody's on 14 but me. Oh, wait, no. I'm not on That's 14. right, you're not 14 either. I'm sorry. That was actually rude of me to say. It's okay. When Eddie's trying out Sage, apparently. Mm -hmm. okay. It's good stuff. Yeah, now that I got Reaper to 80, I'm going to work on this guy next. Make sure to do your nut sacks. Yep. I think I'm falling behind you in, in hunting from the sounds of it. Also, roll one of Sage. If you're soloing, set Cardia on yourself. If you're in a party, set Cardia on your tank. Amethyst, Garnets, Genji Armor, and Ragnarok. Or wasn't I just earlier saying I needed a new sword for Steiner? Yeah. <laughs> Look uh... at that difference. <laughs> it is delightful. Are you, are you looking yet? Yeah. Looks real nice. Almost doubling my attack power. Damn. They just happen to find a high level weapon or Yeah, just, just from uh, hot and cold. Nice. Yeah. Also it teaches Thunder Slash and Shock, both of which are really good. And also I got the missing. Genji armor. Uh which has much higher physical defense and a little bit of magic power. Nice. I can do the rest of that off stream, uh, but there is one last thing I want to show off on stream tonight. And for that, I need to go to the northwest corner of the world. This little tiny nothing of an unassuming island right here has a crack in it. Crack crumbled and opened up a hole. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Chocobo's Paradise. Ooh. So this is Paradise, Koopa. Mene, what did you get here? Koopa, I followed you because I thought you'd find this place soon. I am speechless, Koopa. Yeah, you can actually talk to these other chocobos. I mean, granted, not all of them say something interesting. But you can play cards against the other chocobos. It's basically a, um... 
And there is King Chocobo. Seeker Choco, welcome. I am Fat Chocobo, the king of Chocobo's paradise. Fat. It would have been better if you had come here without the help of humans, but they have taken good care of you. I've made it so they can understand our language while they're here. Quick. Uh-oh. You, who brought Choco here. Choco will stay here and start a new life with us. You should say your goodbyes now. Quack? Oh, no. I'm in a. I'll live here too, Kopo. Little one. Kopo? Only Chocobos can live here. No exceptions? No exceptions. Choco? Have you finished your goodbyes? Not yet, Koopo. Choco still needs to find more treasures. Koopo! Choco, were you not looking for peace and companionship? Are there things you must take care of? Qua. Then come back when you finish what you must do. I I'm going home, Koopo. I'll be waiting at the usual location, Koopo. So yeah, there's a, a different a different path that it, it takes when you go there after you've gotten all four, all the um, chocographs and all the dead pepper spots, mm. which you actually cannot get all of them at this moment. Uh, fun fact, because let me see, it should be right over. So right here, this weird, uh, this weird ice formation that has a strangely glowing center, or, or one might even say a shimmering center, hint, hint for later. Yeah. Um, at a certain point in the story, this is going to go away, and when it does, one of the last uh, dead pepper location is actually underneath that. So I can't uh. even I can't even complete uh, Choco's quest. Until after that. Until after the, uh... Certain story progression mark. Exactly. <clears throat> oh, wait. Derp. Sorry, it took me a second to remember oh. what we were doing. Okay, so this is where um, I was trying to remember earlier. I was talking about earlier, and I don't remember if it was on stream or off before. But we're now going into Ibsen's Castle next. Which we're probably going to kind of just get there and hang out for the rest of the night. Because there's no way to really start this one and stop in like 10 minutes like we're scheduled to. Okay, there's a level 80, I want to say B rank Indomitable? Not yeah. Not the, uh... Oh, I forgot, I need to land Can in I the forest. Can I still kill him and get stuff from it, or no? Nah? No, if it's not your B rank, if you don't have the mark for it, uh, all killing it does is uh, give you a little bit of exercise. Okay. So, leave it alone for somebody else. It's but... just... I saw it, it's like in Indomitable. Isn't that the, also the stupid huge thing that's usually a uh, fate? <laughs> Which, by the way, is not up. So when we go into this place, uh, this place is upside down, quote unquote, which means that stronger weapons are weaker and weaker weapons are stronger. Which means Steiner has to put down Ragnarok. Yep, and put it, pick up his broadsword again. Hopefully you kept one. Oh, no, I did. Oh, I know you did, but I'm talking about people who may be playing at home. Zidane, unfortunately, did not keep a dagger. But I might be able to... Now that I think about it, that might be a good end for the night. 
is go see if I can uh, re-procure some of the old weapons. Because if I go to Dali, I should be able to get something particularly low. It may not be exactly what I want, but... Because I know Alexandria is upgraded. I know Limblum's upgraded, but Dali shouldn't have. So that would be a good for uh, lowest level area. Everyone else has a starter weapon in this group, so I'm not worried about them. But Zidane definitely needs one too. Oh, there's the observatory. We're here's Dolly. All right, duh. I keep doing that. I keep trying to land somewhere that isn't a forest. Because I'm so used to normal airship abilities. Yep. Yes! Basic bitch daggers. Yeah. I had a feeling if anywhere I could get one, it would be here. I'm going to take the chance with Vivi, because honestly, I need he's working on his Agas. I, I respect that for him. And Dagger, I, I'm not attacking with either of them physically, so it should be okay, is my logic. So we're going to head back to Ibsen's castle and we're going to uh, probably call it there the night for the game and just kind of chit chat for a little while. Yeah. For the last like five minutes. <laughs> Pretty much. Also, that's what Alexandria looks like from the world map. Even busted, it still looks kind of pretty. And by busted, it looks like if someone did like a, uh, someone Hi. did a, yeah, exactly. Someone <laughs> took a freaking bite out of it. Rough McGruff, probably. Uh, Alexandria was not crime, so therefore your argument's invalid. Oh good, the things I need to punch are right next to the entrance. That's always convenient. And thankfully, due to our previous power leveling, we should be in a really good spot for this next dungeon. And I've gotten the uh, nuts taken care of. So since we're just kind of talking for the last few minutes, let's talk about 14. Because A, that's what we're going to be playing again tomorrow night. Minor spoiler. Ooh. And hopefully getting through more part of, of uh, 5.x MSQ. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hopefully we can log on on a decent time. Yeah, that's that's going to be the big hopefully there. Yeah. The timer. If that's but... any indication. I've well, here's the better question. Uh, should we try to push hard? Because we don't necessarily need to have a full group outside of the dungeons. Or, you know, fates. No, fates. Uh, trials. Uh, I mean, we definitely... I mean, that's going to be ultimately up to you guys. Me and Asher are more just here as your dungeon slash trial muscle. Mm -hmm. 
dungeon slash chauffeur. That too. Well, less so now. Yeah. Well, I would presume that uh, during the downtime, instead of trying to help us get to places and do things like that, it's more of, hey, I'm doing my own MSQ over here. I'll be honest, that is probably accurate. Yeah. As long as it doesn't like, oh, hey, look, uh, this fate says I, multiple cutscenes will play in the sequence. <laughs> and Walker, multiple cutscenes will play in sequence. At this point, our goal is, is completing 5.x by the yeah. end of the month. That would be nice. I mean, that was our previous goal. I don't know how realistic it is from here. Because uh, we did get kind of behind schedule already a couple times. And that's mainly from uh, the uh, Login Extreme. Oh yeah, absolutely. Without question. Log uh, Login X has been... Actually, I think we're on Login uh, Unreal at this point. It's that high tier. <laughs> well, I think the 2002 error made it uh, the Unreal. It's kind of been downgraded to Ultimate. Mm, uh, I would still put yeah. it at least it's Savage. I would have thought before today that things were getting a lot better, but it didn't. considering that I've been trying to log in since like 5 o'clock, it didn't feel better. Well, the challenge is, is it, kind of, it kind of was a give and take. Because the 2002s for some people are getting better, and the uh, having to hammer past 2002 on the uh, start menu uh, is getting better. But yeah. now it's harder for yeah. people to die out of the queue. People don't get logged out as frequently, and so the numbers are actually ticking slower. Yeah, I ha I haven't encountered the uh, 2002. Punch, uh, kick out, uh, punch out. I got a you couple mean while of them. You're in the game. Uh, I have gotten a couple of 2002s from the queue. But... Yeah. Yeah, exactly. I've gotten them from the from the queue, but I've gotten none at the start screen where it literally just refuses to even let you into the character select. I've had that happen at least yeah, a couple same. times. Uh, recently, though, in the last couple days? Uh, no, but that's because I've usually been uh, logging in at odd hours. Ah, yeah, and that's the other uh, trick. Let's see here. Okay, so I cannot do the 83 hunt because it requires an area I don't have access to yet. And it's locked until I get that access. Uh Oh right. Yeah. yeah, no, that's yeah, that's what I was talking about earlier. Whereas previously it was just level locked. Now it now it's actually like, uh oh. Yeah. Oh, hey. Now it's like, oh, yeah, this one's actually you you can't even go to this place yet. Why do you care? can go to the, all the other places though so well the tier two one for endwalker um so far the pattern has held true for me uh the tier one is two from the first uh combat zone two from the second combat zone and one from the third combat zone uh the like sec it's been fairly consistent it hasn't deviated like at all from two that from first or zero from first exactly so far it hasn't deviated at all from that for me okay uh, the second one of the, like, three that I've gotten, uh, have been one from the third, three from the fourth, and one from the high-end uh, side of the second. Hmm. So, that's four out of five that absolutely, uh, I know that Asher does not yet have access to. Yeah. I was just pissed. It's like, oh, hey, you can do hunts. And then it's like, you don't have access to the third area. That's okay. The tier 89. 3 requires level 89. I thought it... Like, I thought the tier 3 always required, like, 89 or, like, 88. Actually, no. When I was going through uh, Shadowbringers, I was making a point of checking when I got the hunts. Mm -hmm. uh, to get the elite mark, you had to get to 80. 
Mm -hmm. Or uh, 79, I think. And no, it was definitely 80. 80. Okay. Yeah, the Elite was always like you had to get top level. But, but I remember Shadowbringers uh, Tier 3 as 76 or 77. Yeah, it was like 76 because mm -hmm. I accessed it right when we were talking about it, I believe. Yeah. Time to gain access to train. Train? Maybe. Maybe. He keeps I saying can't train. Say... Can't say anything. I can't say anything because... It's it tossing be Michael off, and I find it just amusing. Oh, God. That's a huge boy. I mean, I already got spoiler from a, a YouTube video on a dungeon. Not going to say what. Not going to say who. Not going to say and how. Just simply the name of the title. I didn't watch it, obviously. But it's like, hmm. Bad form. I mean, it depends on which, uh, like, there's one specific channel I follow. Yeah. Uh, that is nothing but dungeon guides. It's literally the how to on a, from beginning to end, how to tackle the dungeon. So for mm -hmm. if, if that channel came out with it, I would be like, oh, okay. I mean, that's par for the course. Oops. I saw it, but that's par for the course because in order to be easily found, they need to have the title in there. Well, it's one thing to have the title of the dungeon, because usually the title of the dungeon doesn't necessarily reference or explain certain things. This wasn't exactly that. Ah, that's, yeah, that's a little different then. I'm trying to be as vague as possible, okay? Because I don't know exactly how much of a spoiler I got spoiled on. Yeah, that and that is absolutely fair. Um... And for that matter, depending on what the spoiler was, that could actually be a spoiler not just to Asher, but to both of us. Well, I mean, and obviously all three of us. Okay, I'm well. going to say this right now. It's probably not a spoiler to you, but uh, it'll probably be a spoiler to the rest of us. Ah, okay. Because I don't know exactly where it is on the timeline, and I'm not going to go check it out to find out. Yeah, no, uh, understandably not. At any rate, um, let's go ahead and wrap this up so that you, uh, so that two of you can get back to gaming. I don't know if you're actually in queue or getting ready to start fighting in MPX, but no, I'm probably not because I managed to get into the game earlier today, so I don't need to do any dailies or things like that. Fair enough. Uh, but so we will be back tomorrow night for more uh, Final Fantasy XIV, continuing mm -hmm. the MSQ. Uh, I believe we are also next next Tuesday, right? Is still good. Yep, next Tuesday is still good. Okay, uh, next Friday we'll of course be back here with more Final Fantasy IX. So getting all the shameless plugs in there. Uh, if you enjoyed watching the stream this evening, feel free to give us a follow. Uh, if you really want, you can definitely uh, drop us a subscription, especially if you have your Prime subscription. Feel free. It, it's free, and if you're not using it elsewhere, might as well, right? Um, we also have our Facebook where we post at, when we're doing the streams, so following there can give you a good idea of what to expect. Uh, I don't think we're really doing anything with the Twitter anymore, so that's okay. And we do not have an official FRG TikTok. Stop asking. We do, however, have a Patreon that we're working on stuff for, as well as a Redbubble that we're working on stuff for, and we have our podcast, which I don't think we have anything coming out this weekend, Asher? Nope. Okay, but we may have some stuff coming up in the future. Uh, feel free to look that up and check us out on all your favorite podcasting apps, be that Apple Music, uh, whatever the uh, Google version of that is, Spotify, Anchor, whatever you choose. Yeah. And that about wraps it up. So we will catch you guys tomorrow night. Thank you, everyone, for tuning in. And have a good evening. Bye. Night, everybody. <laughs>